For US EVA 72, both crew members will egress the joint airlock, EV1 and the red stripes coming out first, followed by EV2. EV1 will head out to the 4 Bravo mod kit worksite to finish completion of the mod kit on the 4 Bravo solar array. EV2 will hand the mid strut off to EV1. And EV1 will get into the portable foot restraint and they'll install the right and mid strut together. EV2 working on the mass canister will have four bolts to drive with their pistol grip tool. And it'll be a single bolt for EV1. Repositioning the foot restraint, EV1 will retrieve the mid strut for the left side, get into the foot restraint, and then get the left lower strut. This will be the last two components to be installed. EV2 will translate around the mass canister and get in position to drive the lower bolt on that strut. This is a pretty high torque bolt, so we'll need a good body position there, and EV1 will drive the upper bolt. EV2 will translate up the mass canister to install the final component for both mod kits. EV2 will drive this final bolt to secure it to the mounting bracket. EV2 will drive the clamp bolts to prevent the mid strut from telescoping. And then EV1 will make sure that all of the blankets are in place to provide thermal protection and also make sure that pit pins are in place that provide grounding for the entire system. One will get the bag and translate back inboard to the airlock. And that bag will be stowed back where it came from uh, on the zenith portion of the airlock, but now with a jumper on top that can be used for the starboard side. EV2 will retrieve the bag and the width extender. This is uh, an extension for the foot restraint. And that extension will be stowed on the CETA cart to be used for a later EVA. EV2 will bring in the two safety tether anchor points attached to the end of EV1 safety tether and come back to the airlock, put the bags in place where both crew members will ingress and complete US EVA 72.